just want to start out with congratulating West Virginia on a fabulous season. Um, obviously, they have so much to be proud of, and that is a really good team that bat we battled with tonight. Um, I thought the quality of play overall was fantastic. Both sides of the ball, so many quality players, and just two good, two good teams, two good disciplined teams. So I'm really proud to come out on top. Obviously, this is a really special senior class for us, and to watch them lead and watch them grow. Britt Eckerstrom was fabulous tonight in goal. All of our seniors have been so special throughout this, this final run of the season here. Um, and uh, to watch these young players just grow as the season goes on has just been really impressive. And just so much to be proud of with this group. Open up for questions. How important was the opening goal when it came out the play that you guys took Yeah, I mean, the goal was massive. Uh, but I thought overall the way that our team came out in this game is one set the tone. You know, the energy was fantastic. We went after them early. We battled. Um, you know, I just think everything about the preparation was right from there, and I think everything that they did leading up, what the seniors did to mentally prepare our team was spot on. And what do you think the biggest difference is from there was from this day as opposed to the last game? I just think the growth of our team has been. Uh, it has been. You can almost feel it week by week. You can see the growth, and you can see the steps back. I think one of the reasons that this team is so special is we have gone through some ups and downs. We've been behind. We've played teams um, that have beat us down, and we've had to kind of get back up. And um, we went through a lot this spring together and grew through that experience. So, um, you know, they, they say adversity, you know, you grow through adversity. And I have to say that's a big reason I think this team has been so successful this season is we grow through adversity. Second college club. How will that maybe play the fact that we'll these guys get down there and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think that there is, um, with each round that you get to, there's an expectation. You know, I think this team wasn't satisfied to just be in the Elite Eight. These seniors have been here before. Um, they're not satisfied just to go to a college cup. These guys dream um, and work to win a national championship. So I think with each level you achieve um, in, the, in the next years, I think you, you expect a little bit more. And I think that's where this group is right now is they're going to a college cup to win it. Late in the second half, whether it was you know, 1v1 defending or kind of just gang defending, essentially. Um, <laughs> you, guys, you guys did really well in, in kind of just shutting down some, some opportunities they had. I mean, what does that kind of speak to the kind of cohesion on the, on the back line? I can't say enough about the back line right now with Britt leading the charge and Ogie sitting in front of them. Um, the way they've come together, so much youth back there, but they're playing like they're seniors and they're playing the communication, the organization. Um, I, I just think it's uh, it's so impressive, six shutouts in a row. And their growth, again, it's all about the growth of where they were when the season started and where they are now. Uh, it just uh, makes you so proud. Brandon, your goal, what would you say? Because it seemed like the ball got deflected first and then kind of smelled a little bit. Um, the ball was played across, and yeah. there was players, and that was beside me. It looked like it was going to hurt. And I knew that I was more open than she was, and I just screamed. I was like, Val, let it go. <laughs> and like, luckily, she let it go, and then I just saw that like, Wooly was a little pressed to the right, so I just kind of easily hit it into the upper left corner. <laughs> 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 well, what was it like back there, kind of, especially in the second half there?
put up once that uh, the final four teams have combined what up only one goal in the entire tournament. I mean, how does that speak to defense wins championships? And do you think this defense is ready? There is no doubt in my mind that this defense is ready to win a championship. I mean, Liz Ball has been outstanding this season long. And it's really just come into our own. We tore back there last year and, um, you know, we had Whit Church next door and Corey Chappick and she learned every passing day. And, you know, you go through your ups and downs and you fight through it, but can't be more proud of her and what she's doing with the rest of this back line and just leading the show. Um, you know, I have so much confidence every time the attack comes down and so much confidence that these guys are going to handle it. So Elizabeth, uh, building off of that, what's been the biggest change in your game from the beginning of the year to now? Um, Definitely, we we moved uh, our midfield has changed a little bit, so it's a lot different playing through the midfield, and um, we just need to talk and we just keep working through that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really know. That. <laughs> it's my question. Sorry. Uh, coach, two of the uh, two of the other final four teams, two of the runners you ran into before, that speaks to the strength and schedule you guys have this year. How important has that been? Strength schedule is everything and, and preparing. We were talking before the game of we played in high winds and rains and against teams that have gone to the College Cup and teams that are supposed to be better than. And we've, I feel like this team has been tried and tested against every different scenario that we could face. And that feels great as a coach. We've gone down goals, we've lost games, we've had to battle back. And that's what you want out of the schedule. You want to play enough teams that they're going to show you everything that you might see in the College Cup. It seemed like you got chippy out there. Before you to lose. Is that something you guys were expecting? I mean, West Virginia is one of the most competitive teams in the country. They have so many winners on that team. So we knew people were going to be out there to battle. Um, I thought our mentality tonight was as good as it's been all season long, just going head-to-head. -head. I thought it was a great battle overall between the two teams. Time for a few more questions. Uh, Britt, you, Rocky, and Mal have been outstanding in the tournament. Is it your mission right now to bring this team national championship? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it takes a whole team, but what a way to finish the soccer career. Our time here on Jeffrey Field in good, pretty good fashion, so we got two more games to go to finish this up. Coach Emily Ogle has four of her seven goals this year in the tournament. I mean, what do you say about her aggressively offensively in this tournament so far? Yeah, Oaks is really coming to her own in the attack, and that's, um, you know, we have so many weapons in that attack, and she's always been kind of the key to, to the assist, but now she's finding her stride in that area, and so again, it all speaks to just the quality of the team overall. And, um, <laughs> I feel like players feel comfortable stepping up in these different roles and are supported by everybody else around them. And look at all you guys say about the, the home crowd through the whole regional. <laughs> it's unreal. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That was crazy. Here we're getting into it with the fouls, and then the we are across the field is always yeah. just like goosebumps. And what a crowd, yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. Even the Army yeah. showed up, which was yeah. kind of surprising. Over break yeah. 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 We definitely yeah. had a 12th man tonight. There's yeah. no doubt about it. I thought the crowd was exceptional.